Being invited to spend Christmas with a royal family sounds like the plot of a cheesy made-for-TV movie, but it was reality for Meghan Markle. The Duchess of Sussex, 42, was a guest of the Queen at Sandringham in 2017 and 2018, the year prior to and the year of her wedding to Prince Harry. The rituals and traditions of the royal family are well documented, from honouring their German roots with present opening on Christmas Eve, to being weighed after Christmas lunch. But, it seems that the quirky festive must dos delighted Meghan. Oled Scobie, the author of Endgame, claimed that Meghan never wants to set foot again in England as she never felt at home. But Meghan's joyful recollections of Christmases spent with the royal family paint a very different picture. For all the latest on news, politics, sports, and showbiz from the USA, go to the Mirror US Read Now. Prince Harry and Meghan might not be included in King Charles' Christmas tradition in the third episode of their Netflix series Harry and Meghan. The mum of two shared how much she enjoyed celebrating the season with her very posh in-laws. She said, I remember so vividly the first Christmas at Sandringham. Calling my mom, and shush is like, how's it going? And I said, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's just like a big family like I always wanted. And there was just this constant movement and energy and fun. At dinner, I was sat next to H's grandfather, Prince Philip. And I just thought it was so wonderful. And I was like, oh, we chatted and it was so great. And I talked about this, and talked about this. He was like, you had his bad ear. He couldn't hear anything you were saying. I was like, oh. Well, I thought it went really well. In late December 2017, Harry painted an equally idyllic picture of domestic bliss as he recalled her first Christmas with the Windsors. He told BBC Radio 4 Today Show, she really enjoyed it. The family loved having her there and you know, there's always that family part of Christmas, there's always that work element as well. And I think together we had an amazing time. We had great fun staying with my brother and sister-in-law, running around with the kids and Christmas was fantastic. And as I say, we're really looking forward to the new year. There were reports that Meghan's gift to the Queen also went down a storm that year. As per their tradition, they like to surprise each other with a joke present usually costing between £10 to £30. During her first royal Christmas at Sandringham in 2017, Meghan Markle made the late Queen Elizabeth II burst out laughing at the present she picked out for the monarch. She reportedly bought her future grandmother-in-law a singing toy hamster, and the Queen was so impressed by it she remarked, It can keep my dog's company. A source said at the time, Meghan bought a little hamster that sings with a little rope for Her Majesty. It was so funny, especially when the corgis tried to take hold of the toy. However, the Queen wasn't able to enjoy its song for very long as her royal corgis ended up mauling it to pieces before the festive celebrations were over. Sadly there will be no singing hamsters for the couple this year. As they continue to build their new life in America, they will be enjoying the festive season at home in Montecito with friends and Meghan's mum Doria. A source told us weekly that, they'll be cooking, playing games and swapping gifts. They have a tough time trying not to spoil the kids too much. Follow the Mirror US news page on Facebook asterisk follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.